Thor, the mighty god of thunder, has been proven by Stan Lee himself to be the strongest hero in the Marvel Universe. But what would happen if the Asgardian were to ever fall in battle? Today at CBR, we're exploring what would happen if Thor died. Thor's earliest days in the MCU were rocky, to say the least, and proved mostly to be a rite of passage for the Asgardian to be worthy enough to be called a hero. In his first film, Thor found himself stripped of the right to wield Mjolnir. Cast down to Earth, Thor learned the true meaning of humility, responsibility, and self-sacrifice. Upon earning the right to wield his mighty hammer, Thor quickly became a key force in battling against the Chitauri invasion during the first Avengers film. Later, in Thor The Dark World, Thor's relationship with his entire family became extremely damaged with the death of his mother, Freya. With Odin deposed, Loki taking the throne of Asgard, and Thor's relationship with Jane Foster becoming ever more complicated, Thor found himself at a crossroads in his life. It wasn't until Thor Ragnarok that Thor truly came into his own as an Asgardian, as a brother, as a son, and as a hero. As the threat of his sister Hela threatened the Realm Eternal, Thor was forced to witness the death of his father, Odin, due in part to the treacherous actions of his brother, Loki. Despite Thor's ascendancy to true godhood and finally unlocking his full potential as the God of Thunder, he was still forced to watch Asgard become destroyed by Surtur. Striving to achieve the most power he could ever be capable of wielding in the universe, Thor forged the incomparable weapon Stormbreaker in his quest to avenge his homeland and combat the growing threat of Thanos. Thor's quest brought him back to Earth in the nick of time to turn the tide on the Wakandan front during Avengers Infinity War. With a single blow against the full might of the Infinity Gauntlet, Thor buried Stormbreaker directly into Thanos' chest, rendering the battle complete. Complete, that is, until Thanos performed his infamous snap and blinked out half of the universe's population, including half of all the remaining Asgardians that Thor had brought to Earth. Now left without a home, without a family, and now without half of the people he had sworn to protect, Thor sank into a deep depression. Even cleaving Thanos' head from his shoulders once the Mad Titan had been found did little to alleviate Thor of his sorrow. A last-ditch attempt at fixing Thanos' snap brought Thor and every hero across the universe against the Mad Titan in one final battle that would truly end the Infinity Saga. Thor's most recent adventure, Thor, Love and Thunder, brought Thor face to face with Gore, the God Butcher, a being that threatened the safety of every godlike being in the universe. The last fans have seen of Thor, he was heading into battle with Love, the young girl that had once been the daughter of Gore himself. It has been established since the very first Avengers film that Thor is an indispensable force for good in the universe. His existence has been vital in his every appearance, and without him, there would have been virtually no chance for the Avengers, or any other group of heroes for that matter, to have won. Had Thor not been restored at the end of his first film, the Destroyer would have continued to wreak havoc across the land until some force was managed to be gathered to take it down. Without Thor, there would have been no one to thwart Loki and Asgard. Had Loki at such an early stage in the MCU been allowed to have free reign over Asgard, the results would have been catastrophic. The Ice Giants would have been able to conquer Asgard for starters, and the routed Asgardian forces would have had a terrible time ever rising back up from such a decisive blow. Without Thor to protect Earth, there is a very good chance the Chitauri would have defeated the Avengers in the Battle of New York. If the Avengers fell then and there, Thanos would have had an instant victory over Earth. With nothing to stop him from securing Earth, Thanos would have had almost free reign to search for the Infinity Stones. Of course, the forces of Wakanda and the Sorcerer Supreme were still on Earth during the battle, but if even the Avengers were to have fallen against the power of Thanos, there's little hope for the other heroes. With Earth fallen, Loki would have had to turn his attention to dealing with the machinations of Malekith and the rest of the Dark Elves. If Loki were able to stop Malekith with the forces of Jotunheim, he would have been alone to contest his sister, Hela. Hela single-handedly dispatched almost all of Asgard on her own. There's nothing Loki could have done to stop her. Hela would have conquered Asgard without interruption from Surtur, and with the Realm Eternal, her domain of death, 
Capella would have then turned her gaze to the other realms. Inevitably, this would have led to a major confrontation between her and Thanos. It's possible even she would have fallen against his mastery over the Infinity Gauntlet. Of course, as a goddess of death, it is possible that Thanos would have taken an interest in her. Such a union, Thanos and Hela, would have spelled utter annihilation for the entire universe. Being as Hela was as treacherous and devious as any black-hearted villain in the universe, it would not have been a major surprise for her to betray Thanos at some point and attempt to take the Infinity Gauntlet for herself. Should she succeed in that endeavor, wiping Thanos from existence, Hela would have been the supreme ruler within the entire universe. Every planet would fall to her power, the trillions and trillions of beings of life falling to her sway, adding to her infinite ranks of undead warriors. Without Thor, the fate of the entire universe would have been in peril. Without Thor, there was so much more at stake than just the lives of his fellow Avengers or as Guardians. The stakes could reach as high as anyone could imagine and that's without any hyperbole. If Thor were to die at this point in the MCU, his death would make it easier for villains like Doctor Doom to take over. There are countless threats in the universe that Thor would be invaluable against, both threats that fans know about and threats that might be hiding in the MCU's darker corners, waiting to be freed. In this way, Thor is one of the most important beings in the universe, whether he or any other being is aware of it. It is wild to consider that a one-time arrogant daddy's boy from Asgard would eventually turn into the savior of the entire universe. What do you think would happen if Thor should die? Comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching CBR.